Hello, my brothers. Hello, my sisters. Another beautiful, blessed day today to always, always be in the presence of the Lord. Another day just to give him the thanks right now. Another day just to give him the praise right now. Another day just to give him the glory right now. Another day just to shout out hallelujah right now today. I don't know who going through something right now today. But one thing I want to let you know right now today, very, very, listen to me very clear today, my sisters, my brothers. You cannot worry and praise at the same time. So whatever it is that got you worried, whatever it is that got you bent out of shape, right now you need to open up your mouth and give Jesus the thanks right now, and you need to give him the praise right now. Because I tell you one thing, once you start praising him with all your mind, heart, and your soul, and giving him the glory, whatever it is that got you bent out of shape right now today, will all go away. But you got to do your part by thanking him. You got to do your part by praising him. You can't just praise him when things are going good. You got to praise him when things are not going good. You got to praise him when things are not going your way. You got to praise him in the wilderness. You got to praise him in the storm. You got to praise him wherever you, wherever you go because praise is an everyday thing. It's not an on and off switch thing and it's not a seasonal thing. Praise is an everyday thing. You must, you must have praise in your spirit. You must have praise on the fruit of your lips each and every day. Because when you praise them doing the good and the bad, everything will be okay. Amen? Amen. My best, my sister, the one thing that you had to realize, we serve an awesome and amazing God. He's the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. He never changes like the weather. He never changed like us, and he never changes his mind. He's still sitting on the right hand of the throne. He's still performing miracles and wonders each and every day in the mighty, mighty name of Jesus. So right now today, just give Jesus some thanks. Just give him some praise, and just give him some glory. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. I want to say thank you to all my brothers. Thank you to all my sisters today. Thank y'all so much for taking y'all time out today, out of y'all busy schedule to be part of today's service today. Words can't even explain how thankful I am, how grateful I am, how honored I am, how blessed I am. Y'all could have been doing anything yesterday, but you chose Jesus' ministry today. You chose to watch his challenge today. You chose to listen to the word and receive the message today. So if I'm thankful and I'm grateful and I'm honored and I'm blessed, how much more do you think I have the Father God is? Right now, he is so thankful and grateful and honored and blessed because you are so faithful and that you are so obedient towards this ministry. According to the word of God right now today, of Isaiah chapter 43, verses 18 through 20, God is doing something new right now in your finances, your life, your marriage, your health, your dreams, because of your faithfulness, because of your obedience. And if you believe like I believe that God is doing something new, I want you to shout out, glory, hallelujah. Something new is coming my way. I'm not speaking this thing to an existence. I'm prophesizing over it right now today. I'm not speaking over every dry bone. Something new is coming your way. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. I say God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Yes, he is. And he is so worthy to be praised. Give him praise right now in the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Is there anyone out there in the world today? I mean, anyone right now today. And if you are really, really ready to give your life to Christ right now today, I boldly encourage you right now today to please step out on faith and please head to the altar right now today. Is there anyone out there in the world today that really want to be used by God right now? And if you really want to be used, I hope that you read the contract very clear and very carefully. And if you have, I, I boldly encourage you right now today to please step out on faith and please head to the altar right now today. Is there anyone out there in the world today that's been going through some things? I've gone through a lot of pain lately, a lot of suffering lately, a lot of depression lately, and right now you feel like there's nobody there for you. You feel like that you're in this situation all by yourself. You feel like that there's nobody cares for you. I got some news for you right now today, my sister, my brothers. According to the word of God of 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7, Jesus speaks that he cares for you and everything that you're going through. He said, cast everything out on him. He means they cast all your suffering, 
all your pain, all your crying, all your emotional stress, your depression, whatever it is, they got you tied up in knots, whatever it is, they got you balled up, whatever it is, they can't, whatever it is, they got your mind, it's all scrambled up right now today. Jesus, they cast everything on him because he cares for you. There's no on this planet called earth cares for you more than Jesus, my sisters, my brothers. So take it to the altar right now today and leave it right there today. Is there anyone out there in the world today that's been looking for a church home? And you've been looking, and you've been looking. And you've been searching, and you've been searching. But yet, you haven't found anything yet. But something's telling you about Jesus' ministry right here. Something's telling you that you want to be part of this. Something's telling you that you belong right here. And if you do, all you got to do is hit Jesus' little red subscribe button right there. I promise you that he'll make you feel right at home. I guarantee you that he will have a word and a message for you. And I promise you as your pastor that we're going to praise together. We're going to worship together. We're going to fellowship together. We're, doing, we're going to do everything together because we are a family in Christ Jesus together. We are one loving family, my brothers and my sisters. And if there's anything that you expect out of me, if there's anything that you want me to do as far as a prayer request or you want me to pray for someone or... Or you, it's something that you want me to preach on, please let me know, and I would love to do so. I, I talk about this a lot because it don't matter who you are around the world, one of God's kids procrastinate right now today. You're not doing what God has asked you to do. You're not stepping up to the plate like the way, the, the way that you need to be stepping to the plate. You have so many excuses why you can't do this, why you can't do that. And right now, too many people is doing that, and so a lot of people right now today is fighting for their life in the hospital right now today but we're praying for them right now today for a speed of recovery there's a lot of people right now today who don't have their chance who don't have their opportunity anymore because they're dead and gone and my point is what, what i'm saying my brothers my sisters the word of god tells us nobody knows the time nobody knows the date nobody knows the hour when something's going to happen the word of god the word of god also tells us that tomorrow's not promised to neither one of us not next week not next month or not next year and if you have not asked Jesus to come into your life to be your Lord and Savior Christ, today is the day that you need to open up your mouth. Today is the day that you need to confess. Today is the day that you need to make that declaration right now today. Don't worry about who's looking at you. Don't worry about the haters. Don't worry about the naysayers. Don't worry about how they feel about you. And that's what I mean by procrastinating. Too many of y'all procrastinating on this. You're not doing what you're supposed to do. And you know you have not asked Jesus, but you need to make that happen right now today. Because when it's too late, there's nothing that you can do about it. It's over with. He's giving you the chance right now. He's giving you the opportunity right now to speak up right now. And all you got to say is, Lord Jesus, today is the day that I boldly ask of you to come into our life. To come into our life right now today. To be our Lord and Savior Christ. And once you boldly confess that right then and there you're saved, you're born again. You have just accepted and received the Holy Spirit. I believe right now today that the angels are rejoicing right now today. I believe right now today that people are moving around right now in the Holy Spirit right now today. I want to say congratulations to you today, my sister, my brothers. Thank y'all for confession. Thank y'all for stop procrastinating. Thank y'all for stepping up to the test. At one point in time in my life, I was lost too until I made that confession. There's a lot of people right now today that's lost with you, that's in the church with you every Wednesday, every Sunday because they have not confessed yet and they still don't know anything about Christ. I'm not here to build a church. I'm here to help the lost souls. Amen? Amen. Are y'all ready for some church today? I say, are y'all ready for some church today? Are y'all ready for some praise today? Are y'all ready for some worship today? Are y'all ready for the Holy Spirit to move to y'all right now today? Are y'all ready for God to speak to y'all right now today? Are y'all ready for it? Because I am ready today, my sister, my brothers. I tell you what, when God speaks, God speaks. And this word today and this message today, He's about to speak to somebody in an amazing way. I don't know who this word for today. I don't know who this message for today. But somebody's going to know exactly that God is talking about them. Amen? Amen. And today's word is, Jesus said, keep praying, keep praising, and keep trusting. Just keep. Just keep doing what you're supposed to do. Everything's going to work out and everything's going to come to you. Amen? Amen. And before I get started, I always like to take the time out to give out him the Father God all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Oh, him the Father God is can't thank you enough for this awesome and beautiful blessed day today. I can't thank you enough for this word today. I just can't thank you enough for this message today. 
I just can't think, you know, for all my brothers, all my sisters, every boy and girl around the world today that is tuned in today, that's about to listen to your word, about to receive your message today. I just can't think enough for the elder we was able to do today. I just can't think enough for the food that you had blessed prepared at table with today. I just can't think enough for the clothes and shoes that you put on that back. I just can't think enough how you move and mouth on on that behalf. I just can't think enough for your for the vision and the provision. I just can't think enough for the healing. I can't think how you guiding us. I can't think enough how you directing us. I just can't think enough, Father God, for everything that you've done. I can't think enough for everything that you're doing. I can't think enough for our blessing today. I can't think enough for our break through the day. I can't think of our double portion today. I can't think of our abundance of overflow of rain today. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. 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 I just can't thank you enough. That's why I praise you the way I do, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I put my faith and my trust in you every day, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough. I just can't I can't thank you enough. I just 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 can't thank you enough. In Jesus' holy mighty name, I just can't thank you enough. Amen. I just can't thank you enough. Amen. Amen. I would love for y'all to turn your Bibles to Daniel chapter 10. And we're going to read verse 12 through 14. There's Daniel 10. And we're going to read verses 12 through 14. And if you have your Bibles open, let the church say amen. And then let's begin. Then he continued, Do not be afraid, Daniel, since the first day that you set your mind to gain understanding and to humble yourself before your God, your words were heard and have come in response to them. So right now, Jesus is telling you right now today. He said, since the first day that you came to him, with wisdom, with understanding. You had your mind set on him. You had your heart set on him. Whatever it was that you prayed for, he said he heard it right then and there. So based what God is telling you right now today, you don't have to continue to pray for the same thing over and over and over again. He said, I heard you the first time. He said, since the first day when you had your mind set on him, when your heart was set on him, when your faith was set on him, when your trust was set on him, when your hope was set on him, he said that he heard your prayer. He said he heard it all. My brothers, my sisters. Then he says, he said, I have come in response to them. He said, but the prince, 13, but the prince of the Persian king resisted me for 21 days. Right now he's telling you that your prayer is so powerful. Right now today, these satanic angels, these satanic devils, are trying to stop from God to release your prayer, your answer prayer to you right now today. That's all what it is right now today. And I know some of y'all probably been praying, and you've been praying, and you've been praying, but yet you haven't seen any results yet. Yet your situation is still the same. Yet your 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 circumstance is still the same. But you one thing that you got to realize, if you have not received your answer to your prayer yet, and it's been over 21 days, just notice that your prayer is so powerful. And whatever it is that you're asking for in prayer, God is going to give you more than what you asked for because he wasn't. Why do you think these satanic devils, these satanic angels, is fighting you so hard? It is fighting God's answer to give you so hard because it's something it's about to shake. It's something it's about to move. It's something it's about to be to deliver to you. I don't know who this world for right now today. I don't know who Jesus is talking to right now today. I don't know who Jesus is preaching to right now today. But someone has been praying for a long time. And that's what it is. They don't want you to have it. Your prayer is so powerful. Your prayer is so strong. That right now you got you got demons that's trying to stop it. It's fighting. They fight and they fight and they fight. But get ready what God is about to do. He said, then Michael, one of my chief princes, came to help me because I was detained there with the king of Persia. Now I have come to explain to you what will happen to your people in the future for the vision concerned at a time yet to come. Right now, Jesus by the force, 
that prayer to you. He about to force that blessing. He about to force that breakthrough that you've been waiting on. He said, even though they've been fighting it, even though they've been trying to hold it up, but God said he's about to make a way right now to you, my sisters. He said he's about to make a way to you right now today, my brothers. So whatever it is that you've been praying for, he said for them forces right now to you right now today. But he wants you to do one thing. He wants you to continue to keep praising. He wants you to continue to keep praying. He wants you to continue to keep trusting. And when I mean continue to keep praying, they say, thank you, Jesus. When he say trust, say, Jesus, I'm still trusting you, even though that my situation is the same. I'm still trusting you, Jesus, even though my circumstances are still the same. That's what Jesus mean by keep doing what you're doing. Keep praying, keep trusting, and keep praising. Say, Jesus, even though... It, it's looking like what it's looking like, but I want to thank you today. I want to glorify you today. I want to magnify shout out your holy name today. I want to say thank you today, Jesus. 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 And some of you right now today, you've been waiting longer than three weeks. Some of you right now today have been waiting longer than three months. Some of you right now today have been waiting longer than three years. If you've been waiting longer than three weeks, if you've been waiting longer than three months, and if you've been waiting longer than three years, get ready to receive more than what you ever asked for from God. Get ready because a breakthrough is about to come your way. A blessing is about to come your way. This is going to shake the earth, my sisters, my brothers. And some of you right now, you don't even realize because a shift is about to come your way because you've been so persistent in your prayer. You've been so persistent in your praising. You've been so persistent in your trusting. God is about to force that answer prayer to you right now today. Get ready to receive your answer. Get ready to receive your blessing. Get ready to receive your healing. Get ready to receive your breakthrough. Get ready to receive your double portion. Get ready to receive your abundance of overflow. Get ready to receive your help. Get ready because this is your time. This is your year. This is your season, my sisters, my brothers. But you continue to keep doing what you're doing until it get here. Because I tell you what, my brothers, my sisters, as I read this, as I read this, why you think they are fighting you so hard? Because it's something big and powerful about to come your way. And if it wasn't that big, and if it wasn't that powerful, don't you think by now that you would have been received your answer prayer? Don't you don't you believe right now today that you would have been received your breakthrough, your healing, your deliverance, your open door, your time? The reason why I haven't came yet because it's too big and it's too powerful. But God said, don't worry about that. He said, I got my chief angel. And right now, my chief angel is about to force that answer to you right now today. But the thing about it, once he forced the angel, once he forced the um answer to you, that same angel had to fight himself right back to the kingdom right now today. Because right now, your answer prayer is trapped in this satanic kingdom right now today. They don't want you to have it because they know what God is about to do. They know God is about to bless you. They know healing is about to come. They know deliverance is about to come. They know double portion is about to come. They know breakthrough is to come. That's why they fighting you so hard, my sisters and my brothers. That's why. But God said he heard you. He heard you the first time. He said, but it's wait one. He said, it's wait one moment. This wait a minute. He said, I haven't got about you. He said, right now, I'm fighting. But he said, I'm about to force it, though. He said, I'm about to force it to you right now today. I don't know who Jesus is talking to right now today. But Jesus said, just keep doing what you're doing. Get ready. It's on the way. I said, get ready. It's on the way. And if you know it's on the way, you need to give him thanks right now. You need to give him some praise right now. You need to give him some glory right now. You need to shout out his holy name right now and say, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Until it come, until it come, my brothers, my sisters, you continue to keep praying. You continue to keep trusting. And you continue to keep praising his name. No matter what, don't you dare stop. Because Jesus is about to shift everything to you. He's about to force it. He's coming with authority right now today. Your prayer that you've been praying for is coming to you quicker and sooner than what you think. Your blessing is coming quicker and sooner than what you think. Your breakthrough is coming quicker and sooner than what you think. Because right now God has his, his best angels right now today that is fighting the battle. And they about to send that prayer to you right now today. They about to send that answer to you right now today. He said, I know how long you've been waiting. He said, but don't you give up right now. Don't you walk away. He said, you're too close. He said, you're too close. He said, you're too close right now today. 
get ready. God is about to do some amazing things in your life. I say get ready. God is about to do some amazing things in your life right now today. And if you believe that your prayers on the way, and if you believe that your breakthroughs on the way, if you believe that your blessing on the way, if you believe that your open doors on the way, if you believe that your double portion on the way, if you believe that abundance of rain is on the way, if you believe that help is on the way, shout out glory, hallelujah. I know it's on the way. So you continue to keep doing what you do. Stop tripping. God is about to do something in your life right now today. In Jesus' holy mighty name. Amen. Amen. And if this word, and if this message for you right now today, I want you to give Jesus the thanks right now in the house. I want you to give him the praise right now in the house. And I want you to give him the glory right now in the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. And before I close, can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into our life, to guide us, direct us, use us. And we believe right now today by us praying a simple little prayer. That God has already heard everything about our prayers. That he's about to do a shift in our life. He's about to bring our answers to us right now today. Father God, we want to just thank you today. We want to just praise you today. We want to just glorify you today, Father God. Father God, we put our faith in you today, Father God. We put our trust in you today, Father God. We put our hope in you today, Father God. And if you believe that, God is saying it's on the way. He said, you ain't got to worry no more. And I believe right now today what God is about to do. He said, your answer prayer is on the way. He said, get ready before you wake up in the morning. You're going to have your answer. Get ready. He said, in the morning, open doors. In the morning, get ready to receive a miracle. In the morning, get ready to receive a blessing. In the morning, get ready to receive a breakthrough. In the morning, get ready to receive a sign from God. Because it's on the way. This minister LT, I love y'all. I put my faith and trust in y'all each and every day. Y'all continue to pray for one another. And please bring somebody to church. I love y'all. Y'all stay blessed. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you.